All right, guys, so we're back out here. I'm with Trey in his garage again because um, we wanted to cover kind of the forgotten, like, hero of this, kind of this whole summer, really. Of course, you know about his race car. We've covered that um, pretty much in detail, but one thing that kind of gets left out is the Integra that he has. Integra has the old engine that was in this. Again, you saw us swap it, but it has been up and running, and it's allowed, you know, him to kind of, you know, enjoy driving in the car scene a little bit throughout the summer. Um, and now it's actually gonna be getting some love in addition to this thing, you know, over the winter, just kind of get refreshed a little bit. So, I mean, you want us real quick to go over the setup of the Integra again, just for folks they forgot. All right, yeah, so um, the Integra is a stock block, and um, stock head, LS VTEC, um, B18, um, B block with a um, B16 head. Um, it does have rod bolts in it and heads, so it's, that's just to make sure that it doesn't blow the head gasket, which right now it does currently have one, <laughs> which is why we're refreshing over the, um, over the winter. But um, other than that, uh, just it's stock motor. I think it's on maybe like 15 pounds or something like that when it actually creeps up that high. And um, it, it runs fun. It runs fine. It's a fun street car. Um, really is. I wish I had more videos to really show how, how it does. Oh, my God. You need to just put that out there to hold yourself accountable to it. I, I don't know if I'm going to do it in that yet or this. I'm You're going to do it in that first. We that way you it. can learn how to do it. Nah. You need to do it because it's the same process, right? Currently right now, trailing arms for all-wheel drive about 2500 the diff mount in the rear is about the same so you're looking at what 3000 just in that stuff then you also got to do fabrication for you got to shorten up your drive shaft so i got to find a drive shaft and another four or five hundred dollars and i mean that's that's just extra and i got to do the fuel system i mean fuel system he's talking about this not realizing that evo transmission will run me 1500 the transfer case is going to be a thousand the differential will be 800 oh. <laughs> and that's that's addition because all the all the gss stuff is pretty cheap but, it's all the anything with evo in it is going to be expensive so that, those kind of seem like the price no, no, the no. price of admission to all wheel drive that's kind of what that seems like i have two cars i got a street car which is fun and i got the race car so i gotta figure out which one i'm gonna put in the, i understand the street you, I, I understand again, what you're saying I, this, he's not getting it i mean that's what i'm saying my theory on that is all wheel drive the integra use the uh, the CRV parts, which aren't as strong. You, when you get the experience, you know how to do it. You're not gonna be really dig racing on the street too much. It's all gonna be roll racing, yeah. right? And Integra already hooks pretty well anyway, so there'll just be a little extra traction to help you get. And plus, since we're doing, or he's doing the refresh, you know, you get a little bit of extra power and then that'll help with the traction on the back end. And then this thing is already a dedicated, you know, thing. It's got, it runs slicks on it at the track. It's already got all necessary. It can run it can run front wheel drive. We've seen that time and time again, especially import versus the masses. We know it works. Yeah. It just makes more sense, you know, to save a little money, get a little extra traction, and then you may have a nice street car. Um, speaking of which, we did have one clip, and we didn't really put it out there, didn't really advertise it too much, of the integrity. Took it out one night, and I was just kind of riding along. Of the integral running and it, the car runs pretty good it hooks uh for what it has and you know it's, it's a pretty potent street car but of course it can be a little bit better you know give it another 50 60 100 horsepower or yeah, so a little bit of horsepower a little bit of traction yeah and, and a little saying. and a little extra traction yeah. it'll it, it'll do that car good it'll be a real nice street car i think it still has it still it still has heat and everything in it so yeah yeah Yep. So that's that's my input. That's what I'm trying to get them to do. Of course, I actually went to the junkyard uh, and I hadn't put that clip in. I'll th probably throw that clip in here too, um, and got the you know we got the transmission. So he's got some of it. He's got started. He just can't decide what he wants to do, which blows my mind. We'll, we'll show it eventually. Just yeah, now, right we can get it done because at this point <laughs> we're just gonna hold, start holding people accountable all because right, that's so, what's so, gonna happen. So all wheel drive the all right, all right, all right. You, all wheel drive, all wheel drive the integral. Let me let me think about something. I got spring coming up. I'm gonna do that. We can shoot for summertime. I can start doing that. Start doing it. So then you hand you ain't another drive during the no, summertime. No, no, no. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's that's what I mean. <laughs> you building a street car to drive it on the street. If you take it down in the middle when everybody else is doing it. See, my goal is I can win a couple races with this during the spring, mm -hmm. and then I can just fund the, fund the Integra and then make that faster than this. Maybe. And then I I think you just need to keep looking. <laughs> yeah, if you come across come you come across the opportunity do it to, to move to move you know forward with it they need to go ahead and do it and then of course we also just got some a few ride along clips during the daytime so you can kind of see how a car pulls
So like that's kind of what we were talking about um, as far as that, some future plans for uh, the Integra as well to get that built. You know, so we can go ahead and see if I can convince him to do something legitimate and stop being lazy as far as, the, you know, <laughs> the, the Integra is concerned. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching this quick update video. Um, again, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make, make sure you subscribe to Chase channel. Three underscore Turner. Link is down in the description. You can get more updates. He does a little more uh, like in-depth of what he's doing as opposed to these overviews. And have a great day.